What the opaque name of this compound? Let's make it bigger here. He's asking about the opaque name or the official name or international name of this compound in front of you. First of all, we have to choose the long straight alkane. So we have here the long straight alkane. Uh, we should start from the right or from the left. We have here substituting in position number two. So you have to start from the right. One, two, three, and then four. If you start from the left, so it's going to be one, two, three, from position three, we have a chloro. But I'm going to start from the from the right because we need the lowest number of carbon. So it's going to be two chloro on position of the chloro. And we have four carbon. This is the parent or basic chain. You have four carbons, which is called but. All the bonds are single in front of you, so related to alkane or butane, so two chlorobutane. Just keep your mind. I'll just remind you the general form of alkane CM H2 and plus two. Let's keep your mind the general formula of alkane. Let's also give you some basics about the organic chemistry. This right here, the organic. Organic chemistry, or it's called the hydrocarbons or carbon chemistry. Hydrocarbons, so basically it's consists of the hydrogen and the carbon. These are the main components in organic chemistry. We can classify the hydrocarbons into Aliphatic compounds. The aliphatic comes from the burning of fats. And the second category is the aromatic compounds. I mean by aromatic at least you have a benzene ring. Meaning of aromatic means the strong smell. What's on in perfumes and dyes? The aliphatic compound classified into two categories, the saturated compound and unsaturated compound. I mean by saturated, we're looking for the single bond, so it doesn't react with the bromine. It doesn't react with the bromine. What about the unsaturated? The unsaturated, we're looking for the the double bond or triple bond. So this is react with bromine and Br2. So a little bit classify the saturated and unsaturated compound. So that's right here, all the aliphatic. So aliphatic means uh, the fats. Let's classify the aliphatics into alkane, which is saturated, and alkene and alkyne, which are the unsaturated. <clears throat> alkane it has the general formula CM H two N plus two. This is the general form of alkane. The general name. But the alkene it has the general form of CM H2N. The alkyne it has the general form of CM H2N minus 2. Well, what's there? The N represents the number of carbons. Also, you should memorize the numbers, the meth means uh, the compound contains one carbon, eth means the compound contains two carbons, prop means three carbons, but means four carbon, pant means five carbons, and hex 
six column and in half this seven column the oct the oct eight column and then none to so nine carbon and no n and then you have uh, the last one deca or deca means a ten carbon just keep your mind meet eat prop but pentax hept oct nana deca so for example an alkane CNH2N plus 2, the general formula, if you have one carbon, N is 1. So how can I count the H? So N is 1, so 2 by 1, 2 plus 2, so it's going to be 4. So this is called CH4. One carbon means meth. So let's write here meth. And all the bonds are single, so it ends with an alkane. So alkane also means a single bond. Alkene, at least we have a double bond. Alkyne, at least we have a triple bond. So this is called the molecular formula. So let's read methane H4. Molecular formula. So let's draw the structure formula of methane. So we have one carbon. Keep in mind around each carbon we have for covalent bond. So this is the structure formula of methane. The structure formula just show structure formula show you the bonds between the atoms. So let's right here this is the structure formula. Let's um for another example. If you have uh, N is two for example, so that means C two. So you, we can count the H easily, so according to the formula, 2 by 2, 4 plus 2, so it's going to be 6. So you see 2 to 6. 2 carbon means eth. So here 2 carbon means eth. So I'm going to write eth. And all the bonds are single. Method of the general formula of al alkane, so it's going to be ethane. Also, we can draw the structure formula easily. You have 2 carbon, so C, single bond C. Got this alkane. Keep your mind around each carbon. We have four covalent bond. The carbon on the left, one, two, three, four, and then the carbon on the right. Also, you have your one, two, three, four. So let's draw the H easily. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is structure of formula to two H six, which is called ethane. What about the alkene? For example, the N is two. Just double it, 2 by 2, 4. 2, two by 2 is 4, it is called ether. They have to put the end, ethene. Keep in mind, ethene, not ethane, ethene. How can I draw the structure formula? At least we have a double bond. So we have two carbons, so at least C double bond C. And around each carbon, we have four covalent bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4. You can put it up or down, it doesn't matter. And on the right side, one, two, shared with the carbon, three, four. So you can draw the H easily. So it's called ethene, or this structural formula. What about the ethene? So let's, for example, if you have C3, 2 by 3, 6, minus 2. It's going to be four. So it's called three carbon from the previous here. The proper means three. So propyne into with yne propyne yne. How can I draw the structure formula? At least we have a triple bonds. So C triple bond C. We have three carbons. So this is the three. But at least you have a triple bonds. Let's draw the H. One two three four. In the middle, one, two, three, four. So no need to draw a single bone. On the right side, one, two, three, four. So let's draw the H. One, two, three, four. So you have two, three, each four. So this is called the structure formula of the pine. I'm gonna you know, talk later about the function group or hang or can we give the name or a pack name of some compounds in the common name.